all around us, around you and me, the worlds of media, science and economy are resounding with the prefix nano. All I hear is references to this invisible scale, a billionth of a meter, just a few atoms wide. The frenzy is global. Thanks to nanos, science and technology foresee a fascinating new world, infinite new research fields and miraculous new possibilities. From materials to energy, the environment to medicine, via electronics and agriculture, nanos should make everything more efficient, more resistant, cheaper and less polluting. Nothing in our world will be free from nanos, a prospect that sometimes appears quite alarming. Welcome to the nano world, to the nano worlds. My father taught me many lessons. I realize now <laughs> after he's dead, but one of the important ones was that um, when the atomic bomb I think in 1955, he said, these things exist now and another Hitler will come along and use it. My worry is that the area that I'm involved with, nanotechnology or chemistry of the 21st century, will be skewed too much towards making these weapons more efficient and effective. That's certainly something that preys on my mind and many of my colleagues as well. It's the year 2015. The world is undergoing a terrifying catastrophe. It all starts in South Korea, with the explosion of a factory specializing in the manufacture of carbon nanotubes. Tens of tons of toxic nanometric particles are ejected into the atmosphere, making the air unbreathable. As soon as the catastrophe is announced, governments and experts alike declare that everything is under control, that the damage is limited, that there are no major risks. But nobody really believes them. No one is reassured. On a fishing boat off the coast of Japan, the high concentration of nanoparticles contaminates the fish, making them unfit for consumption. Reports soon confirm the scale of the disaster's effects and its impact on the food chain from the Arctic to the South Pacific. In Europe, strikes and demonstrations grow in scale and number. No one wants to work in the factories and installations making nanoparticles. Workers and managers are scared and claim reinforced security measures and even a complete moratorium. At first sanitary and ecological, the disaster becomes economic on a global scale. The nanoparticles produced industrially and now present in thousands of products are massively rejected and boycotted by consumers. Whether they are potentially toxic or not, the fear of being poisoned is widespread. The word nanotechnology is now taboo. 